Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com. It's Tuesday. It's August 29th. This will be our chart lesson for the day. And believe it or not, we've almost completed another month here. Um, I don't know where the months are going. But uh, anyway, as bad as it was yesterday, it was that much better today. It was all uphill today, as you can see. Uh, it's what we have here is what we spiked up and went into a channel. Um, it looked like we had a, we actually had a little shorter term channel right here, and it looked like we were going to go sideways, but uh, it turns out we bounced off what, uh, off this trend line right here, and it turns out to be a, um, a spike in channel today. So uh, we really had a short term spike in channel and a, and a larger term spike in channel. And most everything, this is a good strong trend. Notice how everything's above the EMA. Every time we come back to it, it's just a chance to enter. Um, I didn't mark this last one because we were really going sideways then and it was starting to, uh, we'd already come off the high, so I was afraid we might be going back to the low, so I don't think you want to risk that one. Uh, unfortunately, on days like this, you just have to look for an entry and take it almost, so, um, you know, maybe you want to take that trade, maybe you don't. Okay, I'm sorry, I had an interruption there. I'm trying to do this early today because I've got to uh, be somewhere this afternoon and uh, I'm already getting interrupted. But uh, nice trend today, clear two-tiered channel, spiking channel. Let's back out, talk about the trades, and uh, we'll move along here. Um, you had to be a little patient this morning. It really didn't get started till after 9 o'clock, but uh, there's a couple of trades in here. This one was really, really tempting. It's a failed break lower out of that clear trading range there but you just didn't have a very good signal bar um, that bar is too bearish and that really bar is neutral to bearish as well so you really had to wait and uh, that did confirm the trend line if you had a good signal bar there I'd want to take that trade but um, you were really better off to wait on this one but let's back back up here I'm getting a little ahead of myself you just had to kind of sit through this thing I mean I sat here you know, I was here at 7 o'clock, and as bad as I wanted to go short here, uh, I couldn't find any short set up, and I was afraid to, really, because we hadn't tested the high yet. So you were really looking for a long, and you get a close outside a new low, but you don't really get, it's still a first entry. There's actually two legs there. There's actually a two-legged move and then a two-legged move. But this is the first break higher. And it's not a great signal bar. And then all of a sudden it just takes off. So you really get left behind here. But notice what you got. You got a new low. You got a first entry short, a second entry short. So that's your failed second entry. Uh, we're well above the EMA there. We're pulling back to it. You get a nice bullish bar. So break above that. Um, it's, it is kind of into these highs. So there's still a little bit of concern. But it's a breakout pullback, really. Even if you move that up to here now, uh, you can still see it's a little bit of a breakout pullback from that area, and it's a failed second entry short, and then it's uh, and then it's a higher low and a big bullish bar. So I like that one. Um, your failed second entry shorts here, so you might enter there, but you really need to wait on that breakout pullback. So this one's green because it, it's still a higher than this last tie here but it's not it's only by a tick so it's a little bit questioning but when it pushes on up and pulls back i really like entering that so uh, aggressive here better to wait for here and you get a new low so you got a uh, um, a failed second entry short right here uh, but it's still not really going anywhere so you could actually argue for that to be green because it, it does confirm that little short-term spike in channel and if you drag that up it you know, that's right where we turned on the way back up. Uh, it looks more sideways than it, than it does up, but we are making higher highs and higher lows here. And somebody was asking me about going short here. You definitely don't want to be going short yet because we are making higher highs and higher lows all the way up through here. So you definitely can't be taking a short yet. The bias at this point, look at the EMA pointing up. It's, it's up to neutral. It's kind of a neutral upward bias it's definitely not a downward bias so you got to be real careful if you're trying to get short here you're reading it wrong um, I can understand there is some resistance across here but you need you need a clear setup for something to go short and you don't have it there uh, because we're still making higher highs and higher lows so 
and then of course we're just going sideways here um, I don't think you want to enter until you get a failed break which comes here and uh, you could look at that there is a new high right here pullback first entry pullback second entry so if you had a good setup bar here by all means take it I don't like it on my chart uh, but notice that's a new low, then you get a first entry short, second entry short, it fails, it bounces right off that trend line again. Uh, it's a higher low after a failed break. I like that one. And if you caught that one trade, then you're good to go, and you can just ride this all the way up if you like. Um, ride it till you've had enough, or ride it till you feel like you're about to get stopped out. They're going to give, you know, too much of it back. But once we got into about this swing here, it was pretty clear it was a strong uptrend. And um, a really nice day, but no, notice what happens here. Um, you got the new low, and this is a new low here, so you get another failed second entry short on um, a bounce right off, a, a come back, a re pull back to test that breakout area, and that's what you want to see. And uh, I like entering there, up it goes. And then, of course, you got a new swing low right here. You try to go lower once, try to go lower twice. So same thing, a nice bullish bar right off that uh, midline, right off the EMA. Failed second entry short. It is right into the highs, but at this point, we're, we're moving higher. We're making higher highs and higher lows. So it's starting to look like a strong trend. Um, another two-legged pullback. You don't break higher here, but that's still two legs back. Either way, you still break higher there, then make a lower high and a lower low, and then break higher there. So it's still a second entry long. I don't think I'd go long above this bar or this bar, but this one looks good. It's right there where you're looking for a reversal. Boom, off it goes again. Two legs back, another bullish bar. Right off the midline EMA, boom, off it goes again. Makes a new high, pull back first entry, pull back another second entry, right off the EMA. Another bullish tight reversal bar, off it goes again. Same thing, another second entry. Every one of these second entries were just easy chances to enter. And again, as I stated here, you might consider entering there. Um, that late in the day, really kind of working sideways. If you put your lines on there, it, you know, you can see it looks a little bit, it's a little bit questionable. The only thing I will say is that the lows are getting higher each time. You actually make a little lower low, but that's your two-legged correction there and your second entry. And then we make a higher high and a lower high. So uh, that at least would put this to an aggressive entry instead of a no entry maybe. So it's just something to consider there. Uh, hopefully you've already had all you can stand and You've taken all these perfectly, these perfect second entries right off the EMA in the midline. Those are gimmies, basically, on a day like this. So, yeah, even though it was slow getting started, I mean, we're, we're ending strong. And there's still, you know, 30 minutes to go before the close. And uh, we are backing up a little bit here, but it wouldn't surprise me to see it bounce and go higher, uh, continue higher, because it's a pretty strong trend here. So, yeah. Uh, but that's what I saw today, and I feel like I rushed through this, but um, I know some of you like me to rush on through it and not beat around the bush. I did want to read one quick email, and then I'm going to wrap it up, and I'm going to try to get out of here early today. Uh, I got a response here from somebody uh, said I could share it with uh, somebody. Uh, here we go. Uh, this trader sent me his email today. I guess it stemmed from me talking about him yesterday. Uh, but he says, hello, Mike, hope you're well, writing to you after quite some time today. I hadn't heard from this gentleman in a while. Um, usually that means one of two things. Either it means he's doing well or he's moved on. He's, you know, he's, he's, he failed and he's probably no longer trading. So either that or they're doing well. That's usually when I continue, you know, when I stop hearing from people. But anyway, hello, Mike, hope you're doing well, writing to you after quite some time today. Just wanted to share my chart for the day had marked the main trend line as a potential just after market opened, and for the past one and a half hours, I've been extending it. Great trades off the main trend line and quite strong midline today. So he saw it exactly as I 
Okay, I'm sorry. I had another slight interruption there. But anyway, he saw the trend. I'm not going to put his chart up here, but he saw exactly what I'm seeing here. And uh, he goes on to say, haven't been with you for a couple of years. Days like today are not uncommon now for me. At least a couple of days a week. I'm done in the first two to three hours, all thanks to your course. Uh, please feel free to share. I remember how other sex stories helped reinforce the thought that this is not an impossible thing to do. Just need to, be, need to be in for the long haul, as we always talk about. Uh, uh, you know, this is not get rich quick or overnight, and you're not going to learn it overnight. Uh, but anyway, I like sharing those. So if you want to share, send one to share with a group, feel free to send it. I like doing that. I think people like hearing it, and it's helpful to them. Uh, that's been the consensus feedback. So uh, anyway, I feel like I'm rushing again, but I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to wrap this up for the day. This is Matt with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.